So the final part of this podcast is we're going to talk about why this leads to more revenue and ultimately more profit associated with this. So there's a couple things. It's basically a reiteration of what we've talked about in the past two uh, in the uh, past two sections. So as a recap, operational efficiency is a big benefit, and that's going to be one way that you can get more money. You can increase the profit margin because the faster that you can provide the service and if you can do it in a more streamlined way, especially if you can bring somebody in who's going to do it at a lower uh, cost per hour than what you would be doing it at, you are able to take on more work. You're able to grow the business in different ways and do other things for the business where you're truly spending your time most wisely, right? So you have you have an, a net gain right there. You're also going to get more money because you have better conversion rates. So if you're you know converting, let's say two of ten people uh, that come in as a qualified uh, qualified visitor, um, qualified lead. You know, can you increase that to four or five, right? And I don't think this is out of the question. We see our strongest law firms who have specialized for a while and, you know, really uh, focused on one specific area that they want to grow and and dominate a market. Um, They have these type of close rates or even higher because they know exactly how to talk to these people. They know exactly what to say and what to emphasize during those uh, sales calls and that whole process of, of trying to uh, endear themselves to the potential client and get them over the line. So by just getting more repetitions and talking with those people over and over and over again, you really familiarize yourself with the talking points and the information that is going to move the needle um, and get more people to sign with your firm. Another area that this is going to increase your profit is by being able to get more high value cases from the the types of people that you're looking for who can pay, who um, are not afraid to to spend and want the best of the best. So as you specialize, you're going to be able to progressively increase your prices over time. And this is extremely powerful because you can use one flat marketing budget, and it's a way to uh, effectively increase your your market by doing nothing more than increasing prices, right? And so as you become known for this specialty and you start to get those results, you can start to progressively increase your prices every time somebody new comes in. You're not going to be stuck at a certain price uh, being kind of the discount option in town because you don't have that specialty. You want to be focusing on the people who are going to bring you the most capital, right? They're going to, they want to spend, they want the best of the best. And that's where you fit in with this. And so by having all these pieces together, the better service, uh, the better, better quality of outcome, uh, better close rate, better sales conversations, all of that stuff is going to put you in a position where by the end of that, and you're talking about a price, they are going to be much more open to that because they know there's an increased value or a better expectation of what they're going to get from you as a output of your service. So whether you're a personal injury lawyer or any other type, if someone comes in with a catastrophic injury case, if they know that you are consistently getting results that are 30, 40, 50% more than your next door neighbor who does the exact same thing. You're in a great position because they're going to see that by going with you, they're willing to pay a little bit more money or have a, a little bit more of that, that settlement go back to you because the pie is going to be bigger. It's like what they say in Shark Tank all the time. It's it's like, you know, do you want to be uh, do you want to get a, you know, own 100 percent of something very small or dilute yourself a little bit and uh, and make a lot more. Right. Um, similar concept applies with criminal and different things like, you know, that you're going to get the best result. You are willing to pay more. And those are the type of consumers that you are courting with this strategy and ultimately are going to lead you to making more money on the same amount of work, which will have a uh, dramatically beneficial impact on your bottom line. Specialization isn't just about focusing on a few practice areas. It's about mastering them.
It's about attracting the best clients and ultimately growing your law firm in a more predictable, higher margin way that's gonna secure the future of your growth for a long time. If you have questions about how to do this, how to even start thinking about this, or um, you're confused by any of the concepts in here, I'd love to chat with you more. I'm, my door is open. You can reach me at patrick at goconstellation.com and would love to talk about your, your law firm. We, we deal with this stuff all the time. Um, we love getting into the weeds and helping lawyers figure out the best way for them to make more profit and do it in a more enjoyable way where you can actually enjoy your business and you don't feel like a slave to it. So that's going to end this episode on niching down and profits up. Um, just want to thank you for tuning in. I know you, there's a lot of choices on how you could spend your time and who you look to for information about growing your law firm. So sincerely, I want to thank you for uh, listening to this and if I can help in any way, please let me know. Otherwise, thanks and peace out.